It's another wonderful day in Crested Butte, Colorado, and today we're out doing the Poverty Gulch to Daisy Pass Trail. It's an 8.8 .8 mile trail with about 2,500 feet of elevation gain. However, the beginning of the trail follows a 4x4 forest service road, and we were able to cut off about 0.8 miles, I think, until we hit snow on the road. So we figured we would just follow the road until we hit snow, uh, found a place to park, and now we're gonna begin hiking. This trail is actually in an area called Pittsburgh and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania is actually our hometown. But I'd say this looks a little bit different than Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. <laughs> We were out at a restaurant the other night and our server said one of his favorite things about Crested Butte is that since you're already so high up, between nine and 10,000 feet in elevation in the town, when you come out to go hiking or do anything outdoors, you're so close already to these 13,000, 14,000 foot peaks. And that's so true. It's so awesome to come out. You go on a hike, you're a mile in and you're already looking at these massive peaks and you're so close to them does make it a little bit harder to breathe while you're hiking though. All the places I'll go. So unfortunately, the downside today is that our trail goes along this mountain ridge and then up into a bull up there. And it's very much still winter over there. And it just doesn't feel safe to go hike in that area. Um, just still looks like there's a lot of snow. So that's the downside. The upside is now we're hanging out in this beautiful field of wildflowers and the scenery is just amazing. It's so beautiful out here. So we're just gonna hang out on this side of the mountains, do a little bit of exploring over here and just appreciate all the beauty. We just came across this small building and we feel like we're really in the middle of nowhere. It has a sign on it that says private keep out, but we peeked in the window and all that's in there is a toilet <laughs> with some toilet paper and hand sanitizer next to it. There are campsites around here, so maybe in the summer it gets a little busy and they have a toilet, but pretty funny to come across. It certainly would be a nice place to poop. So we came across what looked like an old mine and maybe there used to be a house here too because we just came across this sign that says, I don't know what the top word is, is that the name maybe? Nomenistan. Nomenistan? Like Afghanistan, like Nomenistan. No manistan. No manistan. No manistan. Ha uh, ha ha. Elevation, 9767, population one. Do you think somebody maybe owned the land up here? Yeah. Maybe that was their toilet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at my map to see the trail that we were supposed to hike, which is up there. Also on top of my map, I have a layer that is who owns the land that we're walking on. And right now we're crossing over for like maybe 20 feet. No Manistan LLC <laughs> that owns this piece of land. The game plan right now is to head back to the car, which we're almost there, and there's so much to explore around these areas. So we're just going to find a road to take. Hopefully it's not snowed out and see where we end up. To leave this area, we had to drive through this creek crossing, which was pretty fun. And then we ended up heading down to an area called OB Joyful Recreation Area and just spent some time relaxing by the water before we headed home for the night. It's a few days later now and we're out on another weekend adventure. We took a road trying to make it to a few different trailheads and unfortunately there's still just way too many snow drifts to drive a car on the road. So we drove as far as we could, parked and we've just been hiking. We've hiked about two miles so far. There are some incredible views on this road and I really wish we could drive further because I'm pretty sure this road takes you to some insane hiking. And I don't think we're gonna be able to make it too far today because looking up ahead, there still is a lot of snow. We had a pretty big rain 
rainstorm this morning and out in the mountains they got snow and it is the middle of June, which is crazy. It's probably only 45 degrees right now. It's nice when the sun comes out, but I guess being in the mountains at elevation, this is what you get in the beginning of summer, late spring, I guess. But yeah, still out here enjoying a nice day outside. We are up at just about 11,000 feet right now, and I can definitely feel it. It wasn't too long before we hit some snow, which definitely slowed down our hiking a bit. However, at this point, the weather was still pretty pleasant, but that quickly took a turn as you'll see very soon. It's June 17th and it is snowing. At 11,000 feet. At 11,000 feet. I don't think we've seen snow since we were in Tahoe in November. No. Oh no, we've seen it a couple times actually when we were in Moab. Yeah. And Kanab. Yeah. That's right, but we haven't seen snow for a long time. And now it's middle of June and it's flurrying. <laughs> well? I think we should turn around. <laughs> A lot of snow. Maybe we can walk a little bit further. Dogs are having fun. Mm -hmm. The snow picked up quickly and started coming down pretty heavy, but as usual in the mountains, if you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes and sure enough, the sun came out. But unfortunately, that didn't last for too long. <laughs> no good. It's howling. I know. What the heck? <laughs> we tried to hike as quickly as possible back down to the car, and I think at this point, even the dogs were confused about this weather in summer. Well, we made it back to the car. We're all very wet, muddy, cold. <laughs> so we have the heat, heat blasting. God oh, bless you. <laughs> heat blasting, all warming up. Gonna head home, probably take some showers. And it's saying it's supposed to be full sun later tonight. So we'll see about that. Skeptical. So it's the next day now and just like yesterday we're out exploring and driving as far as we can on these beautiful forest roads until the snow stops us. The road that we're on right now seems to be pretty clear, thankfully we've made it pretty far. This morning we woke up and we went to the Crested Butte Farmer's Market. We got some sourdough bread and some really good stuff so we're thinking we're just going to explore out here, find a place to hang out and enjoy our farmer's market goodies. Believe it or not, the sun did come out last night, so we were very pleasantly surprised. Slate River Road is an easy to moderate, in my opinion, road that climbs into the mountains outside of Crested Butte, eventually reaching an area called Paradise Divide. Keep watching to see how we end up reaching this stunning area later in the day. So looks like we just about hit the end of the road here. There is no way we're driving through that snow drift, but we made it pretty far. And holy moly, the views up here are amazing. We found a good place to park the Jeep and began our hike back up the road. We packed our backpacks with our farmer's market snacks. And now we're just walking up the road and see where we end up. So here's the point that we had to turn the Jeep around. So we just made it up here hiking and we're gonna keep on going and exploring. We found a pretty perfect spot to set up, have some lunch and enjoy these incredible views. It is so amazing up here. We didn't know what we were getting into today. Just like our past few hikes or adventures in Crested Butte, we kind of just go until the snow stops us. So we feel pretty lucky today that we made it this far. Having a good time, Douglas? <laughs> 
we're continuing to hike our way down a very snowy Slate River Road. It's incredible that you can bring a car up here in the summertime when all this snow has melted. The views are amazing and it's so beautiful. There's some campsites up here. It'd be awesome to come explore this later in the summer. <laughs> yep, almost went down. We made our way pretty high up here. There's a lot of snow up here. And you can see Cinnamon Mountain out in front of us. I think that mountain is about 12,300 feet high. So we just made it up to what is called Paradise Divide. It is absolutely amazing up here. I don't know if we've ever been somewhere like this. We're up here at about 11,300 feet. And wow, <laughs> I'm kind of speechless. It's so beautiful. There's just huge mountain peaks everywhere we look. The snow is pretty hard packed, thankfully, so it's been nice and easy to walk on. And like you saw, most of the way we had a nice little dirt path to walk on that was pretty dry. There's actually a lake right over here. However, it's still very frozen and it's pretty tiny, <laughs> but totally worth it. What an adventure today. Such an adventure. We had no idea what we were getting into today and it just really worked out in our favor today. Such adventure. Such adventure. Much, such fun. Such fun. Yes. <laughs> Probably some of the freshest water you'll ever have. Just snow melt straight from the mountain. It's so cold. <laughs> Got a brain freeze? Almost. Does it taste so fresh? So fresh. <laughs> well, today has been absolutely amazing. Definitely a day we're going to always remember. We're gonna head back down the trail now. We hiked about two and a half miles up here, um, but went a little bit out of the way for our picnic spot. So we might have about two and a quarter back down. Not too bad. We're getting pretty close to being back at the car. Like I said, what an absolutely incredible day. We're definitely going to remember this one. It's a few days later now, and today we're out driving on the beautiful Kebler Pass. Kebler Pass is a mountain road where, honestly, I don't know exactly where it takes you. It has been closed since we got to Crested Butte because there was a major, I think a slide in the road, a rock slide or something that took them a while to repair. So it opened a little bit later than usual this summer. However, we got word that it opened, so we had to come explore. We've been exploring for I don't know, maybe 30 minutes or so, so far. And we just pulled over into this beautiful spot in the forest to let the dogs get out and stretch their legs, run around a bit, and just enjoy all of these beautiful trees. So we're gonna hang out here for a while and then keep on going and just see where the road takes us. It is finally feeling like summer in the mountains. Our first couple of weeks here, it was still pretty chilly. We had some gloomy days, a little bit of snow, some rain, and now we have beautiful sunshine. It's still probably only about 65 to 70 degrees, but it's a great temperature right now. And summertime in the mountains is my favorite thing in the world. You can't beat it. The wildflowers, the mountain peaks, the blue skies, the pine tree smells. It's so awesome. Once we got home, I did a bit more research on Kebler Pass and found out that it's a little over 30 miles long. You can easily access it from the town of Crested Butte. It takes you through beautiful mountains, tons of camping, and thick aspen forests. When we saw a lake coming up on the map, we knew we had to stop to check it out. 
This quick detour was to a place called Lost Lake, which had an incredible lake and a great campground, and we were so happy we stopped to go explore. Heading back home after driving a portion of Kepler Pass. It's a little bit too long for us to drive the whole thing today, but it was great to get out there. There's so many trailheads and side roads to explore, camping, that beautiful lake that we came across. So hopefully we get to go back and explore the whole thing sometime. Uh, we're gonna head home, have some dinner, and tomorrow's Sunday, so we'll be heading out for another adventure. So we'll see you then. out here getting it. <laughs> so it's the next day now and we're out at Crested Butte Mountain Resort. I feel like I can't talk properly because the helmet's squeezing my face and I can't smile without it squeezing my cheeks. <laughs> and you're constantly smiling. I feel like a puffer fish. <laughs> we're downhill mountain biking today. I've been mountain biking one time before in Bend, <laughs> Oregon. Paul's pretty much a professional. <laughs> We just did our first ride. It was a green, so as beginner as you can get, and I made it, no falls, but it was a little scary at times, I would say. I thought you did great. Thank you. <laughs> so we're taking our second lift ride up. It's a beautiful day. We could not ask for better weather, and yeah, hoping, hoping it becomes a little less scary throughout the day. <laughs> Double black coming up next. No way, no way. We've been riding for about three hours now. Um, you did four runs, I think, and I did three. And I think I underestimated how tiring going downhill would be. My whole body is very tired. <laughs> so we dropped off my bike. We're taking the lift up and lots of people take the lift here actually just to go hiking because there's so many beautiful trails at the top of the mountain here. So we're taking the lift up together. Paul's going to keep riding his bike. I'm gonna do some hiking, enjoy the beautiful nature out here. But it was fun, it was just very, very tiring. So now I'm out of my short hike, just going to do maybe a mile or so, taking these amazing views. Everywhere you look up here, you're surrounded by these huge mountain peaks. After a pretty short but beautiful hike, I'm taking the chairlift back down, which is a really nice option that they have for hikers that come up here. You can see there's just incredible mountain views everywhere. And I'm going to meet Paul at the bottom. Did you have fun on your last few runs? Last five. Last five. I went for five extra. <laughs> fun? It's so fun. <laughs> Got a little cut. Oh. Quite the bruise. It's yeah. gonna be quite the bruise. Yeah. So we just got some teas, walked around the resort a little bit, and now we're gonna head back to the doggies, maybe take them for a little walk. We're gonna wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already, please subscribe to our channel and give this video a like, and we'll see you on the next adventure. You giggling at me? <laughs>